Uh, ladies, gentlemen, dear colleagues, good morning. Yeah? I'm so pleased to see the Inga Embassy. So we are already on the board for uh, since I come to the FODG. Yeah? I know uh, 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 I know her, but uh, maybe she didn't know before uh, her, me. Yeah? So now you see, I always say we're doing, yeah, not only talking. Yeah? Uh, and myself, we support all the uh, biodiversity, uh, forest, uh, environment issues in the mandate of FAO, of course. It's a large picture, not only for, uh, for agriculture, small agriculture. We are talking agriculture at large. I'm very pleased to be with you at this 25th uh, session of the FAO committee on forestry and the first ever virtual gathering in the committee's history of the 50 years. Eh? This year, we celebrate the 75th anniversary of FAO and a few days later, that of the United Nations itself. So we had to rethinking and redesign our all the activities and the actions to in line with the original aspiration of FAO and the UN. Two institutions that more than ever needed to be efficient, inclusive, and responsive. This is the reason that in the 14 months since I took office as a Director General of FAO, we put a special focus on building a modern, dynamic FAO that is fully aligned with its original vision and mandate. Of course, we wanted to build a more inclusive with our sister organizations and the key players and the civil society, private sector, of course, more close to the ground in the members and the farmers. And of course, you can say forest people. We established a modular, flexible structure which optimized the cross sectors collaboration and the shattered the silos within FL system. We are creating an agile, organizations that serve its members to achieve the four betters. I always say we only have uh, betters forever, but we do not have a best. Maybe for the moment you have a one best, but the better forever. Every sector, every organization, every country. So that's why I always say last year when I campaigned for DG, better production, not only for the developed nation and the developed, not only for the rural areas and for the city and for the others, better production and better nutrition, not only for the organization, for the farmer, producer and the trader, and also better nutrition for the individuals, for the different sectors. You can offer the better nutrition and the better environment, not only the mandate of FAO or UNEP or others, better environment is for the international organization and for the members and and uh, we need a contribution from the, all the key players. And the better life, better life for farmers and for the citizens and for the consumers. And as a whole, we are human beings. We need a better life. Better life is not only nutrition, not only food, not only uh, money. We need an environment to support and that's happiness come from we have uh, basic requirement of the new trade and, and also uh, others demanding. We should to try our best to meet. We are accelerating our efforts to create a, a digital FAO and enhancing our digital service to the members, including through virtual meetings like this one. Yeah, uh, and of course on the ground, we need a lot of service. Sometimes we have to keep a balance, but for this pandemic, during this uh, special difficult time of a pandemic, we can strengthen and uh, uh, digital uh, 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 approach and also depend on the digital world. So today at this committee, we have our chair connected from Asia and no cost. Eh? And also <laughs> our vice chair linked from Europe and the participants from all over the world. Uh, and that's a really global gathering. And, you know, no any other way we can bring us together. 
before, like before, you all had a lot of uh, participants due to the flights arrangement, due to the other unexpected uh, 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 traffickers and so arrangement. You couldn't manage it to come. But now you're sitting at your home or your office, you can really 100% participate in this uh, uh, conference, uh, as a committee uh, conference, I mean. This is a real new digital world. An open, innovative uh, mindset covered with modern technology is enabling us to reach and engage with more members, partners, and stakeholders than ever before. That's a way of optimistic thinking. We are facing the challenge and the pandemic and the difficulties. This was the case when we launched this year's State of the World Forestry, FAO first the digital flagship publication back in June. I think they got more access. Just the uh, uh, Charles mentioned this. Today we have so many participants globally. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic has shown that the forests can serve as a safety net for a human being. Yeah? Original text say only for poor and vulnerable. No. Forests, yeah, the basic function serves as a safety net for a human being. We have to look at a lot of pictures, not only talk about the, the specific group. I see a lot of people now traveling to climb to the mountains. And even here, they used to be to uh, spend most time on beach, but now they prefer to go to mountain. Why? Because it's the most safe places to go. That's a real nest of, for you. Yeah? So in this time of the crisis, it's a safety net for human beings, the poor, the vulnerable, and offering a huge potential in building back better. The world forests are among our most precious common her heritage with ecosystematic, economic, and a social impact. And we joked there yeah, during years when I was a scientist and the local leaders. If you want to have a high quality of life, you behave like a monkey because the monkey is living in the forest. If you be a poor human being, stay in the uh, 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 city because you have no choice. Huh? <laughs> and so if you really aim into the high quality of life, you have like a monkey living in the forest. So uh, 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 and forests are profound of life, livelihood and happiness. And they are critical to achieving sustainable development goals from the poverty eradication to the hang zero hunger and climate change and the biodiversity. That's why the last week eh, we had a uh, biodiversity summit in UN headquarters. I was uh, honored to, on behalf of all the assisted agencies and the entities to talk about that. Look at large picture from the environment, agriculture, food, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, research, and uh, education, and, and uh, innovation, and also a uh, uh, business model. So the theme of this session of COFA is so timely and meaningful. As forestry and SDG decade of action, solutions for the climate change, biodiversity, and people. But deforestation and uh, Forest degradation continue to take place at an alarming rate with the urbanization, industrialization, especially agricultural expansion, accounting for a large proportion of deforestation. Uh, from, not only from the last 20 years or uh, uh, 100 years, before, uh, you no, know, three, several thousand years due to a war conflict, the burning the primitive uh, forests and then come to industrialization, and then come to urbanization, the one that expanding. So, but uh, agriculture itself also due to the uh, population increase uh, during past the uh, thousand years, let's say. And they, they expanding without so much uh, innovative uh, way to support. So they kind of measure a large proportion of deforestation. We have to look at that uh, historically, 
not only from one angle. Uh, if my colleague look at the original text, I change it because you want to talk about small things. How to increase agricultural production and improve food security without reducing forest areas is one of the great challenges of our time. Population increase, we need more food, no doubt. But how to reduce it and minimize the impact, impact. That's only solution we can deal with or we had to do best. Halting deforest, deforestation and scaling up the reforestation, therefore, must be central building block to the sustainable transformation of food systems. So we have to look at the two sides of a coin. The original text from the forest department always talk of the hearty deforestation. What is how about the scaling up reforestation? We have to think in the two, uh, two way or even a uh, uh, three dimension way to deal with the challenges. FAO is proud of co-lead the UN system wide efforts to turn the tide on the deforestation as requested by the UN Secretary General. We will hear more about this during this week, including the high level dialogue on the deforestation tomorrow morning. And also, I know the uh, Madame Anderson, she has a lot of idea and the suggestion and the action plan on the road. So we will also hear how FAO together with the UNDB and the UNEP has been supporting over 60 countries in reducing deforestation and the forest degradation through the UN REDD program. Our work on the forest law enforcement and governance and trade have the countries combat illegal logging. We have to promote the trade in timber, which is sustainably produced by small scale enterprises. FO is also at the forefront of supporting the country's access and analyze big data on change happening to their forests and the landscapes. For example, we developed a SEBA, the system for the S observation data access, processing, and analyzing for land monitoring. SEPA is an innovative open source software which helps countries access the vast amount of data available via satellites at the, at the increasingly high resolution. Today, it has more than 5,000 active users in 180 countries and the territories. This collaborative work bears tangible results. FAO latest global forest resources assessment launched in July was the most accurate ever, with many countries producing new data and considerably refining their monitoring and reporting on forests. Such improvements are critical to ensure the informed, effective decision making on forests and land use. They are part of our focus on big data as a game changer. That is why we launched the hand in hand geospatial platform with a large and rich set of data on food, agricultural, socioeconomic, and the natural resources to help strengthen evidence based decision making in the food and agriculture at large. Here, the agriculture includes all the sectors of, of uh, subtitle of the agriculture. And also, we, it's a platform. The, the data ownership is dependent on the uh, uh, individual entities. We didn't own, own all those. We just offer the platform for them to, 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 to make the release and the sharing with our users and the members. The platform includes over 1 million geospatial layers and the thousands of statistical series on over 10 domains linked to food and agriculture, including forests, of course. That's why the uh, Miss Madame Anderson knows that in U.S. system, eh, always talk about the digital and the big data, big data. But if we already built that big data uh, platform, so not only include the food and agriculture, include all the uh, relevant uh, data. So this is really not only for FAO and for relevant uh, system. 
entities or for, for the society globally. Yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, transform transformational change is needed in the way we manage our forests and, uh, and their biodiversity, as well as uh, how we produce and consume our foods. Yeah? F O O D S, not our food, our foods, and interact with uh, nature. There are clear links between deforestation, biodiversity loss, and climate change. To address these ch challenges, we need a stronger engagement with the forest sector to ensure the optimal health for people, animals, and the environment as part of a one health approach. FL Sustainable Wildlife Management Program is spearheading such efforts and at the same time strengthening what life management and enhance the food security of local communities. Investing in the sustainable forest supply chains and ecosystem restoration is effective in alleviating poverty, generating employment, and building back better. Improving the forest-based livelihood, prosperity, and human well-being is an aim of the forest and the farm facility. With this facility, FL is working with over 350 forest and farm and producer organizations, increase their access to the financial services, and integrate them to the value chance of the market. More than 25 million people in the 30 countries have directly or indirectly benefited from this, including during the current COVID-19 pandemic. FL has also helped to restore the productivity of a degraded land and the livelihoods of local communities in the Sahara. Our support to the Great Green War Initiative has resulted in some 50,000 hectares of land being restored. I just had a discussion with uh, Madame Anderson. We needed more action to get all the holistic design and, and com comprehensive beneficial to our farmers and, and, and the community and the consumers. Together with the UAEP and the Secretary of the UN Convention to combat the diversification, we have a prepared ambitious action plan to jointly restore 100 million hectares of degraded land, sequester 250 million tons of CO2, and create 10 million green jobs. And FO is pleased to collide with the UN Decade of on Ecosystem Restoration with the UNEP here. On the 18th of September, we had a virtual launch of the FL Green City Initiative and its action plan to transform agri-food system and hunger and improve nutrition by contribu con contributing to climate change and mitigation and promoting sustainable resource management. Cities are very essential in building back better because cities have a human being human, uh, you know, the uh, capacity uh, and also technology and the investment and the information, of course, and also purchase power. So they are really the, uh, uh, you know, the, the uh, promoter and the, and the pusher. In 2015, 68 or 70% of the world population will be living in the cities with 19% of the increase uh, occurring in Africa and Asia, which will lead to great opportunities and challenges. About 70% of our food supply is consumed by able dollars, and the number of that is steadily, steadily on the rise. Today, cities consume almost 80% of total energy produced in the world and are responsible for 70% of global waste. Cities also account for about 70% of the global energy-related greenhouse gas emissions. So we always say yeah, we have to focus on a major challenge. We have to visit all the major solutions. City is one of the real game changer and the key player. Starting with 100 cities around the world, we hope to have 1,000 cities join this initiative by 2030, not just for sustainable producer health foods, 
but also to contribute to the e ecological management of water resources, sustainable land use, and the expansion of the green space, including able forestry and high-tech intensive farming. In considering economic, social, and ec ecological gains uh, comprehensively, with only 10 years left to achieve the sustainable development goals, we need a fundamental change of mindset, remodeling our business approaches. That's why I have a lot of expectation from next year's World Forestry uh, uh, Conference. You have to think a way how to uh, re start your journey to the 2030 and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a Chinese proverb that says, one generation grows the trees in, which, in whose shade another generation rests. For the past five decades, COFO, COFO, has brought us together in identifying emerging forest policies, technical solutions, and the pro pray these actions to move ahead, forward. In some way, this is akin to the plant trees by one generation for the next. I, I very much appreciate you as a forestry professional with a big passion and a long commitment. Not like working the uh, crops. Huh? You need five years, you have a, a visible and a tangible result. For forest people, I know for breeding research and workers, you plant tree for one generation, and uh, maybe some people will get a shedding after one generation or two. So that's a really long commitment. And the success of our work today is crucial for the shaping a better tomorrow. We must scale up our actions to realize the potential of forest, fruit trees, food diversity, and others. We have it defined more specifically what is uh, forest meaning for the society. Not only talk forest to forest, because forest is a lot of meanings, huh? different category. So we have to, you know, get all the uh, society realize what the forest means and what is a close linkage with their life and their uh, environment. I encourage you not only to plant more trees, but also design more compre comprehensively and holistically get more key players on board to jump in for picking apples rather than sitting on the ground for it. Let us aim high and do concrete together. Be innovative, be cohesive, and be great. For a hunger-free world, where well, the forest provides solutions for climate, biodiversity, healthy food, and the people. Thank you. Over to you, Mr. Chairman.